How's it going guys, Max here. So, we have great leaks on the upcoming iPhone 13 or iPhone 12s. Let's get into it. So firstly, yes, you heard me right. It's either going to be called iPhone 13 or iPhone 12s. But um, after I made some research, I actually found out that it's going to be called has a good chance of being called iPhone 12s because um, the number 13 is um, it has spooky meanings in many Western cultures, and this will actually be the first time we see you know tech manufacturers do something like that. We saw Snapdragon with instead of 875, 888 because triple eight means something great in China, and we've also seen um, Apple do this in the past. They skipped iPhone 9 for a reason that I can't remember and they went to iPhone X which is iPhone 10. So they can pretty much um, skip iPhone 13 and make it iPhone 12s then over to iPhone you know 14. And um, that's the that's the naming part firstly. Then the major part that we're going to be seeing some major improvements is in the display. But I heard that finally Apple is calling, coming with a smaller notch. Thank God for that. Because they have been using the same notch that they've been using for the past two or three years now since the iPhone X. So uh, hearing getting good information that they're going to have a smaller notch. Um, and under display fingerprint sex sensor or for Apple Touch ID, which is actually great. Like um one of the main features or one of the main complaints that people kept on having apple users kept on having during this lockdown was that the uh they could not unlock their phone with their face masks on that is use face id with their face mask on which was a problem though this new ios 14.5 has solved that problem kind of not fully because it's still not 100 percent secure but still is there so bringing back the touch id as an under display fingerprint sensor will be absolutely great and as if that's just the last for the display but there's still one more thing we are hearing that um the iphone 12s pro and 12s pro max uh, that is the ma major models are going to come with an ltpo 120 hz display refresh rate yes that's like from maybe from 10 hertz to 120 or from 1 hertz to 120 which is actually great i mean most every almost every phone in 2020 had 120 hertz even budget phones mid-rangers up to flagships and um no iphone has actually had it in years so um though we are actually receiving information that for the iphone 12s that's base model iphone 12s and 12s mini they will still have the regular 60 hertz display but for the major flagship okay all of them are flagship shop, but for the major models that is the 12s pro max and the 12s pro they're going to have the ltpo 120 hertz display which is actually great nothing no information about the screen resolutions if it's going to be quad hd or a bit higher than full hd like we see on most iphones now we don't know yet so that's just that for now if you're loving this video a sub to the channel would be great then over to the cameras the leak suggests that it's still going to have the same triple rear camera setup we don't have any specs for now if it's going to see an improvement in megapixels we don't know for now but um even nothing on the build quality nothing on the pricing if apple will go high but one thing that has actually been roaming around like one rumor that is yet to be confirmed is that it's going to be coming with no ports okay on the iphone 12 series we actually saw apple remove the charger and the headphones from the box which many companies you know followed them many smartphone companies samsung and xiaomi included um and people didn't really like the concept most people didn't really like the concept especially people who you know maybe they're going for the flagship for the first time and they don't have a compatible charger for that phone and we all know that the best charger for a phone is the charger that comes with the box so yes we are receiving information that there will be no ports on the next iphone 
and you will now be forced to buy the MagSafe wireless charger. Yes, that's what we're hearing. So that's actually all for now. Tell me what you think about any of this stuff I just said now in the comment section. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.